I don't know if Ripping got dinged up in, in early in the game or, or, or what happened. Uh, just it seemed like he was just off today. What, what what did you see out there? Well, no, we we were using uh, some of our personnel groups that way with Cord. Um, now at the end, yeah, because he took, he got hit. I don't know how many times in the game. So I thought Brett, you know, showed extreme toughness today. Um, the bottom line is you know, he can't do. He can't protect himself out there, and you know we've got to be able to to do a better job of that. And that didn't happen tonight. Um, you know, as far as you know, uh, being off, I, I don't know about that. He had, a, he had a good week of practice, and we knew San Diego State. They're a good defense. They they play hard. They mix it up. They do um, different things that cause. We knew it could cause some issues in there, and we had answers. We felt like we had answers for it. Um, so. Uh, as far as that goes, you know, we just have to do a better job offensively, and that starts with us as coaches protecting our quarterback and making sure that he's upright and he's able to go out there and deliver the ball and, and do the things we ask him to do. That uh, last drive, you guys get the ball back with a chance to win, <clears throat> got some momentum going, and then the intentional grounding penalty, it looked like that was kind of an unnecessary one maybe. And, and then the fourth yeah. down play, I got to think that wasn't quite what you were looking for there. So I'm just kind of wondering your yeah. thoughts on that, that series of plays there. Yeah, well, uh, I can say I disagree with where the on the penalty because of the ball. I know where the receiver's at in the vicinity. Knew exactly where he was at. And I think that was the, the call, right? No receiver, right? So... Um, you know, they don't review that. They don't go back on it. I could see it. I saw where he's going with the ball on his feet. Um, you're not going to get that back. So you got to deal with it. Uh, the last play, no. You know, we had something we thought we could catch underneath and hit it and run, clear it out. Um, you know, I got to go back. I mean, I'm not going to make that decision for what Brett did right now. I don't know where the safeties came from exactly, but there were opportunities underneath to try to catch that racket, get the first down, or be right at it. You know, it was, it was fairly close because we pushed ourselves back with the penalty, and you know that's that's. I think we were on schedule. When we didn't have the penalty. You know, we had no timeouts. We knew we wanted to stay on schedule. We knew we had. And I'm talking about down the distance. We knew we had to go for it on fourth down. So that was that was a given. You know, to worry about that, and we just didn't execute it. So what what they did in coverage without going back and watching it right now, hard for me to tell exactly what what the answer should have been. But there were opportunities. Not just on that play, but in some other plays too that we, you know, we probably could have taken advantage of. You know, obviously this year you guys felt like you had a really good team and, and some experience, and it could do some damage. And for it to go out in the two, you know, probably the two best teams you guys have played so far, and not just lose, but but not really play the style of football that you guys expect of yourselves. What, how do you kind of assess where this team is at, and how, how do you explain, you know, sort of a couple of performances like that? I guess. Well, I still think we have a really good team. I still think we have a lot to play for. I still think everything um, that we want to accomplish is in front of us. It's more difficult now, as we know. But the bottom line, um, you know, we win and lose as a team. We won some games. We lost some games. And the key for us is what are we going to do about it when it comes down to it? So I'm not going to point fingers at any one in particular. Um, I'll point it back at, you know, how do we get ourselves after this game prepared to go play Nevada? That's really what it comes down to. So as far as our performances, you know, I've seen the film. I'll look at this one. We'll, we'll go back and dissect it. And we'll come in here on Sunday and we'll talk to our players. This is what we need to accomplish. Here's what we need to do. And if everybody in this room is locked in, they, they're dialed into what it is, and that includes – the guys that aren't playing, everybody's dialed into what we need to get done. We can get it done. I've seen it. If we're not, and I'm not talking about on Saturdays, I'm talking about Sunday through Friday, and then it shows up on, shows up on Saturday, then I think we have a shot. And at the end of the year, hopefully, again, this is another opportunity we can learn from. Um, losing is not you know, something that we're trying to go out there. It happens. It's something that it's disappointing. But how you handle it, to me, that's the key. And We've been in this situation before, and we've done some really good things. So there's no – I'm not going to sit here and say the season's done. You know, we're written off. We can't do anything. We can't be successful. That's not the case. you got a lot of guys in that locker room that are upset, want to work, and the ones that show up that do will be okay.